Story time, and today's story time is going to be how I smoked a cigarette on the bus. Now, if you live in Belfast, you'll understand that you cannot smoke figs on the bus because you will get a fine for it, okay? You get like a thousand pound fine. And uh, so I left and got the bus in town and it took really long because like he left about 10 or 15 pounds and whatever. Like mercy, I think I have something like it, right? Now I know these are really good. There were something like these. I was thinking, I'm sorry, I'll show you. There were something like these, but a bit longer or something. So yeah, so I was trying them on and they fit it perfectly. I was like, yes. And it was the last part and it says, fine, let me put these out there. And then a woman approached me. Like a random woman just approached me and was like, excuse me, excuse me, love. Uh, yeah, what's wrong? Hi, I was just wondering, what size of the shoes you're about to purchase there? Yeah, I'm just really curious how much they were, like, how much they were and how, what size are they? Well, you can ask that guy over there, like, if they're, uh, like, anyone in the back. Like, you can really just ask them if they're anyone in the back, honey. Well, I did, honey. And there is no more. So can I have them, please? Um, honey, they're, like, I'm about to purchase them. Like, they're my shoes. Like, I'm next thing you, and I'm not going to give you them. Like, they're mine. Um, I really ask you, like, these shoes. So why don't we just wait and maybe end some more in the morning? Well, kid, I can't wait till tomorrow or whenever the coming is. Or I need them right fucking now. Like, right fucking now. So you better hand them over. Like, I don't think I'm going to do that. And I'm not starting like a bar in the middle of the shop. So if you don't stop harassing me, I'm going to get the camera to Well, I fucking need them. See, so better hand them fucking over, you little stupid kid. I said to you, I'm not handing them over. So if you don't leave me alone, I'm being serious. I will call the security guard. Now you say one more fucking thing, honey, and I will call him like a fucking bitch. I will call him, and I do not fucking hurry up. Watch your language, young lady. Don't you know how to respect your elders? And I was like, security guard, security guard, and she came back from the woman was like, what's wrong? I explained the story, and yeah, so I bought the shoes, and yeah, she could borrow from the shop for like, uh, three months, I think. She literally got borrowed for this, like, starting a row of a child, like, she, was only, she wasn't even an elder, like, she was only like 20 something. Like, and I was like, how fucking an elder, love? Like, if she had been a granny, I would have, like, said, okay, here you go, love. But no, she wasn't a granny. She was just, like, a few years older than me. So, I'm like, no, you ain't getting my fucking shoes. You can fucking wait. You know what I mean? I was getting, like, ooh, I was, like, I was hyped. I was up that fucking here, like. But, yeah, let's get on with the story. So, I went over the bus, and the bus was, like, 10 minutes. So, I was sitting waiting, like, sitting dancing and all the machines. Like, yes. So, by 20 minutes later, the bus that wasn't here, and I was like, what the fuck? So, I was just going to end up getting another bus. But the other one was for, like, for another 45 minutes, and I was like, I'm not fucking waiting 45 minutes for a fucking bus. 
So it's just sat and waited. About an hour was passing the bus actually finally fucking appears. Like it finally appears. So I showed him my ticket and I sat down in the seat. Like a lot of other people started coming on the bus. And the bus driver then moved. And it was about five minutes. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing, Miss Bernard? So I had to wait another 20 minutes. And he still didn't move. So I walked down and he was like, excuse me, sir. And he was like, what? And I was like, uh, why isn't the bus moving? And he's like, um, there's some big um, road action or something where we can't get up the bus. And I was like, oh, okay, okay. So we were sitting on the bus. And it was, but I was sitting on the bus for about another 20 minutes. And that, like, I was just like, oh, my God. Okay. So... But I was sitting on this bus for about another hour, and it was like, uh, I need a smoke. I really need a smoke. And I walked down to this bus driver and was like, since we're not moving, can I bounce off for a smoke? And then I'll come back on. And he's like, no, if you bounce off, we're going to have to wait in the next one. Because I can't have to off the bus in case we have to move. And we don't want to be waiting on you. And I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? So I said they're waiting for another 20 minutes, like another fucking 20 minutes, and this was actually near two hours now. And I walked in and was like, look, I've been sitting here waiting for 20 minutes, can I have a smoke? And he's like, no, I'm sorry. And I was just like, for fuck's sake. Then I seen some lady down in front of me sparking up a fag. But I started and said, fuck off. Then I said, fuck off. And I was like, what the fuck, she fuck up a fag in my fucking bus. Okay, so me being a wee cunt, I sparked up my fag and started smoking that shit. Sitting smoking it, smoking it, and then bus driver didn't say anything until it was done. I threw it out the window and I sat for about 10 minutes. And then it was like, Someone was smoking on my fucking bus! Who was smoking on my fucking bus? And everyone didn't look at me, they looked at the woman, and the woman was like, Oh, I had a fake. He was like, oh, Well, you shouldn't have. And I'm like, Well, you were, she was like, You wouldn't let that we go out, so I need to fucking smoke. Okay, she was getting all like, all like, fucking up in this guy's face, like she was like, this close to him! And he didn't say shit. And then he looked at me, he was like, were you smoking? I'm like, yeah, I was. He's like, why be you smoking in my bus? And I'm like, well, she can have a smoke, I can have a smoke, it's not far. And you wouldn't let me fucking bus, mate, so you didn't even fucking come, and you didn't go to go sit and wait in your fucking stupid bus. So, like, you know what I mean? No! So the bus finally moved after another 10 minutes. So we actually get about not even half fucking way. And it stops again. And I'm like, set me in for another 10 minutes. And finally started moving. And I was like, yes. And we got like, it was like two stops away from mine. And the bus fucking broke down. It broke down. And I was just like, oh my god, I can't do this. I was getting so angry. I have like a social anxiety disorder and I hate being on thingies for too long. And my phone died and I had no fucking music and I couldn't stick on the bus. So I bounced off my bus and had to walk 25 minutes to get to my house. Because like the stops were like really far apart, do you know what I mean? It was like really like a big distance. So I had to walk. And it was fucking terrible. And I was wearing big shoes. My feet were killing me. They were like... I felt like my feet were going to fall fucking off. Like, fall fucking off. Oh, uh, so finally got home. And this was about... This was, like, the last bus I, like... No, it wasn't last bus. I'm trying to hang sorry. Like, the third or fourth last bus, because this bus was, like, every hour or so. And, oh, my God. Never again. Like, I got in my house for 12 o'clock. And um, like the third last bus was like This was like on the thirteenth so like it was like the last, the bus I got I think was at like half ten. So I wouldn't have got to my house about till about twelve. Like I didn't get to my house about twelve when I was like I was getting so 